The God delusion is an advocacy of the belief that there is no God, that there are no gods. I think it's a very important and interesting question because the great majority of people on this planet do believe that there is some kind of a supreme being, very different in different parts of the world. But I think it is a mistake. I think that it is an impoverished view of the world. But it's a very exciting question. Historically, it's always been very important to people that their belief in some kind of a supreme being. And so it's not a dull question, it's not an unimportant question. And uh, I give in the book the argument, I think it's rather a strong argument, that there is no supernatural supreme being, and that belief in such a being can, under some circumstances, be rather a bad thing. One of the central points I make in the book is that the existence of God is a scientific question. Because there are people who say it's nothing to do with science, quite separate from science. I think it's a scientific question because a universe with a God would be an entirely different kind of universe from one without a God. If you think about it, the universe without a God starts from essentially nothing and builds up to the sort of complexity we see at least on this planet by gradual degrees which we now understand reasonably well. The alternative view that there's a God who designed the universe is shatteringly different because on that view there is an intelligence, there's complexity, there's design right from the start. On my view, on the atheistic view, design, intelligence, complexity are all things that come late in the universe as a consequence of a slow and gradual process of evolution. It is a preposterous suggestion that I sometimes need frequently meet that we somehow need religion in order to be moral. If you think about that, there are only two ways in which religion, I think, could feed into morality. One way is that holy books could tell us what to do. And I hope that anybody who's read either the Old Testament or the Koran will never say that, because it would be quite appalling if we followed the Old Testament or the Koran in developing our morality. That's one way. The other way is that we are moral because we're frightened of God. We're moral because we want to go to heaven, we want to please God, we want to avoid going to hell. And that again is a pretty ignoble reason for being good. If I'm good, despite the fact that I don't believe in God, then isn't that a more noble reason for being good than somebody who is good only because they're frightened of being punished by God?